Hello everybody and welcome to Gaming Ops. John coming at you today and we're going to be talking about Nintendo's next console, the NX. First off, we're going to be talking about the few things that we know. So, um, the few things that we know are that Nintendo has announced that it will be running Unreal Engine 4, which means that, you know, it will have similar capabilities to that of the PS4 and the Xbox One, which is good for Nintendo because they've been falling behind the last couple generations, you know, graphically and processing power-wise. The other thing that we know is that Bandai Namco has teamed up with Nintendo f to release several titles for the NX. This is really exciting because Bandai Namco is known for pushing out really good quality games in a really short amount of time, which is really exciting because that means the NX is capable of having several exclusive titles within the first year. So now we're going to talk a little bit about the rumors that have been going around about the NX. I'm not going to talk too much about this because I don't like to put too much stock into rumors, and there's a billion rumors going on about it, but I'm going to be talking about the ones that I'm interested in. First off, one of the things that they said, or one of the rumors going around, is that the NX is going to be going back to cartridges instead of discs. The main purpose would be for storage space. Standard Blu-ray disc can only hold 60 gigs of storage. Now, on the Wii U, Nintendo is still rocking DVDs, which only have about 20 gigs of storage. Now, for those of you that have played uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, you've seen how huge that world is. It's five continents. Each continent is humongous. There is so much content in that game. Nintendo has crammed so much content into 20 gigs of space, it's crazy. So if they're, you know, if they are rocking, you know, cartridges with 128 gigs, you know, 500 gigs, whatever they go with for these cartridges, you know, it's, it's mind-blowing what Nintendo could really do with this next system. The other rumor that I want to touch base on is there have been a lot of rumors about what the next controller is going to be. Now, Nintendo has said that they are moving away from the motion control, so we don't have to worry about that Wiimote crap. The one thing that still worries me is that I hope they don't go with tablets, because that was what you know, kept the third-party developers away from the Wii U. A lot of rumors are saying that they're going to be going with a more conventional controller. Now, Nintendo's always been known for its crazy controllers, you know, with the N64 thinking that we have three hands and the GameCube just having buttons everywhere. I'm sure that the next controller is going to be a little bit crazy, but... I really hope that they get away from the tablet. For the final topic of the video, we're going to be talking about what I feel like the NX is going to need in order for it to make Nintendo relevant in the console world again. So the first thing I'm going to say is that it needs a better friend system. Uh, this friend code crap just isn't working. It's too much work. I have to send my friend my friend code, then I have to get his friend code, and it's just, it's just too much work. I can't send him a friend request, and even if I have his friend code and I type it in, it still doesn't send him a friend request. He still has to have my friend code. So this whole friend code stuff, just it's not working. So they need a better friend system. Now this is the big one for me. This is really going to decide for me whether or not I get the NX right off the bat or not is... Uh, an achievement system of some kind. I'm a big time achievement hunter. I don't find games as fun anymore. Like, I, I, you know, a game that doesn't have achievements is not as fun to me as they used to be. And I know that that's frowned upon in the gaming world, but that's just how I am now. I like my achievements. Touching base back on what I said earlier about the controllers, Nintendo's really going to have to put a lot of work into this next controller. It's going to have to be it's going to have to be a semi-conventional controller, you know, something similar to their GameCube controller, you know, that's not doesn't have all kinds of crazy features that third-party developers aren't going to want to work with, but it's going to have to be innovative enough to be relevant. PlayStation has its speaker in the controller, and that's come in handy for several games. The Xbox One's controller is extremely ergonomic, so, you know, your hands don't cramp playing. The NX is going to have to combine both of those things, you know, along with its own ideas. It's going to have to have something that separates it from the other controllers, but isn't so far out there that no one's going to want to deal with it. And my final thought on what it's going to take for Nintendo to be relevant in the console world again is the NX is going to have to have better servers. I have connection issues all the time when I'm trying to play 
Xenoblade Chronicles X or Splatoon, I'll get into a match and then I'll just drop it. I know it's not my internet because I have no problem connecting with my PS4 or my Xbox One. So they're really going to have to work on their servers. Whether that means that we have to pay for servers like we do with PS4 and Xbox One, that's going to be on them, but they're going to have to make more stable servers. I mean, I know that's weird coming from me because I know I complain about online gaming a lot, but Unfortunately, that's what it takes to be relevant in the console world now. I know I said the last topic was the final topic, but I wanted to add one more thing, and that's what is going to make this system launch well. Um, in order to have a good launch, the system's going to need to have exclusives. We already know that it's going to have the new Legend of Zelda, but that's not going to be enough because that game is also going to be coming out on the Wii U. So it's going to have to have the exclusives. You know, I know that Bayonetta has a cult following, so Bayonetta 3 would be a good launch title for the NX. A lot of people have been crying for a new Metroid game forever myself included. I would love a new Metroid game, uh, especially a new Metroid Prime game. So if they were like, here's a new first-person shooter Metroid Prime game launch title for NX, I'm sure people would line up for that. The next thing is they're going to have to make sure that they price it right. You know, it's it's a difficult time to come out with a system because, you know, the PS3, I mean PS4, pardon me, and the Xbox One have both gone through several price drops. So while the NX is still going to be the new system, they're still going to have to compete with the people that haven't bought the next-gen systems yet. So it's a difficult time price-wise to release a new system. I think the final thing that's going to decide whether or not it's a successful launch is if they produce enough units. I know with the original Wii, they didn't have enough units, and that was part of their sales tactic. They, you know, released it sporadically, so that when people saw them, they're like, ooh, a Wii! But I don't think that that's going to work again. So they're definitely going to have to make sure that they have enough units for launch. I apologize for my phone going off in the background just a minute ago. But with that being said, that's all the time we have for today. Um, in the comments below, tell me you know, what you guys think the NX needs. What you guys want to see the NX capable of doing. What games you want to see come out for it. Uh, you know, Any thoughts you have on the NX, leave it in the comments. But that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for viewing. Please subscribe. And peace out. That's right, Mew. You guys should subscribe and check out our other videos.